What is up? I'm Average Joe and I play games. And you guys know the drill. This is part one, two, three, four of my complete buying guide for Xur, Agent of the Nine. And today we are going to be talking about Titan Armor. So let's get into it. All right, so first up we have Tier 1, the must-buy armor. You have three pieces of Titan armor that are must-buys. Spend your strange coins on these pieces of armor. First up, you have the Helm of Saint-14 that has, adds the blinding effect to your Titan bubble. This is awesome in raids. It lets you use your bubble uh, strategically, and you can even use it offensively to block off an entire wave of adds or knights that are rushing you. All, you can do all kinds of things with this. It really adds an extra dimension to your bubble. By far one of the best armors in the game for titans next up we have ruin wings and ruin wings are good because they increase your heavy ammo drops so if you have gallerhorn and you pair them with ruin wings that is a great combination if you want to make an offensive titan if you don't have gallerhorn eh, ruin wings loses a little bit of value Lastly, we have Armamentarium. Armamentarium is, in my opinion, being a warlock uh, primarily, Armamentarium is unbalanced because I have to level my Sun Singer all the way up to get two grenades, whereas Titans can just hit level 20 and equip the Armamentarium. And it is probably one of the best exotics in the entire game as far as armor goes um, just f based on the the ability that it gives you it is awesome it's not broken but I'm, I'm gonna call it unbalanced just because I'm a bitter warlock that Titans get such cool armor and we don't but all right let's move on to tier two and as you know, Tier 2 are the situational armors, and there's a bunch of them. So you have the Insurmountable Skull Fort has Crota boss fight utility. The Glass House is solid, but is probably outclassed by Saint-14. No backup plans. I've done a video on that. You can go check it out. You can become an orb-generating monster or really tank with the no backup plans. What really holds them back, though, is that it is hard to melee in high-level PvE, namely because to activate your Force Barrier, you have to get a kill with your melee attack. It's not like the, the Warlock Scorch ability where you just need to Scorch somebody, it doesn't matter if it kills them or not. For no backup plans, you actually have to get the kill with the melee, so that does cause it to lose some of its power. Crest of Alpha Lupi, similar to the uh, Hunter armor of the same name, it is uh, best used for skirmish, or it really shines in 2v2. It is it is really solid in 2v2. And uh, Helm of Inmost Light, it's only useful for Fists of Havoc. I'm not a really big Striker Titan player, so I don't know how good this, uh, this particular uh, exotic actually is. I have not... Uh, picked it up in game and when I had my Titan I did not level him uh, the the striker Titan very much so you guys can tell me in the comments below if Helm of Inmost Light is okay or not and like usual the situational armors they may be a buy they may be a pass really depends on how much you are going to get use out of the particular situation. If you play Crota's End a lot, maybe you should pick up Insurmountable Skull Fort or upgrade it when Xur offers the upgrade. If you are a PvPer and you love Skirmish, then Crest of Alpha Lupi may be worth it for you. You just have to make that judgment call based on your particular playstyle as a Guardian. And lastly, we have the Tier 3 Do Not Buy armor, and I really struggled to put any of the Titan armor in this category. The Mark 44 stand asides, they could really be classified as a tier 2 situational armor if you really wanted to. I put them in this category because Datto does not like these uh, boots at all, and because I am not a Titan or I haven't spent the hundreds of hours as a Titan that I have as a Warlock or as a Hunter, I trust his Titan opinion more than mine. So I dropped him down to the Tier 3, but I'm sure if uh, if you like the the ability that the standard sides give you, it, it wouldn't bother me if you wanted to see those in Tier 2 as a situational buy. 
Well, there you guys have it. That is the Zer buying guide for Titan Armor. Be sure to check out the description below or my end title card that has links to the other portions of the guide where we cover the weapons, we cover the special weapons, the heavies, we cover uh, hunters, and warlock armor will be out later in the week. Comment down in the comment section below where I got it wrong. Follow me on Twitter, subscribe, do whatever it is you guys do. We'll see you in the next game.